everyone, welcome to the second day of your onboarding. Today, I will be giving you an introduction to Office R&D. Of this training is for you to better understand what Office R&D is, why is it important to our operation, and how do we enhance members' experience through utilizing this platform. So this is our agenda for today, and I will be sharing my screen for the most part of the training. Before we get into our training, let's make sure everyone has access to Office R&D first. So you should have already received this email from Office R&D. It's an invitation for you to click this link over here or here to take you to the page of Office R&D. And if you have not received this invitation, please reach out to Angela who will grant you access to the Office R&D platform. After you log into Office R&D, it will take you to this page. This is what we call the dashboard. Dashboard is where you can see how well your space or our locations are doing. So it's almost like a medical report for the hive. And on this page, there are two main areas we're looking into for this training. So the first one is occupancy over here and also memberships over here. These two reports give an indication on your location's occupancy percentage as well as how well your space has grown over time. Let's look at how you can filter out your own location. The numbers you see here is the sum of the entire Hong Kong, and you can tell by this tab, it says the Hive Hong Kong, all locations. And if you'd like to see the figures for your own location, simply click on this tab and select the location that you'd like to see. So for example, if I'm in the Hive Spring, I'll click on that, and you'll be able to see the report for just the Hive Spring. Let's look at occupancy first. So if you click into that, you'll be able to see there are three different categories. We have the private office, the hot desk, and the dedicated desk. And these are the products we sell at the Hive. You will see some numbers next to each category. So these are basically the total number of products we have. And under private office and dedicated desk, you're able to see four statuses. There's available, available soon, occupied and reserved. So what does available soon mean? It basically appears when the member's termination date is in two to three months. And for reserved, it appears when the member start date is set in the future. It is slightly different for hot desk. It is separated into two categories, target and active. So target is the target rate at each location for the total number of hot desk members you should have. And for active, it is the total number of active members you have under the hot desk group. And you might wonder why the occupancy rate for hot desk is so high compared to the others. And that is because there are few membership types under hot desk. That includes associate, cafe, light, which is no longer sold, part-time hot desk, voyagers, and full-time hot desk. And whereas private office is basically office memberships, and dedicated desk includes dedicated desk and booth desk. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this chart over here. It basically tells you the growth of each product you have in your location. So let's look at memberships now. There's an easier way to go there. This is basically all the tabs under dashboard. So you could just select memberships here. And you can see that this is a linear chart. It shows you the growth of your location over time. So at the top over here, you can select a date. So you're able to compare periods and view data from previous periods. On this chart, you can see there are four lines and four different colors. So for the green line, it represents new memberships. It indicates the number of memberships that have been added as of the current month. And the red one, is terminated memberships. It indicates the number of membership that are set to terminate as of the current month. And you can see there's a blue line here and that represents active memberships. It is the total number of memberships that are currently active in the space. And lastly, the lowest line over here that's yellow is discounted memberships. It is the total memberships that are on a discount currently. But please note that the figure might not be accurate because this discount function has only recently rolled out. What is floor plan and how do you use it? 
So floor plan basically tells you where your members are and where the companies are. It's very useful for you during your first few weeks because it could help you to get to know who your members are and where you can find them. Your floor plans. Let's go to this blue tab over here. Click on the fifth icon. It will take you to this page. These are all the floor plans of a location. So if you'd like to select another location, pull on this tab and it'll give you all the selections. So let's look at the head Wan Chai for example. These are all the floors in Wan Chai. So let's go to the ninth floor. You can see this is the floor plan of the ninth floor in Wan Chai. So you can see there's a storage, two meeting rooms, a vacant private office. You can see the member's name and the companies they're with. If you're a new joiner at the Hive, it's very useful for you to print out this floor plan and be familiarized with the members, where they are and where the companies are because it's very useful when you're delivering mails. Each room is in different color, and the indication is listed over here. So everything is very clear. You can see that the yellow ones are the rooms that are available soon. The purple ones are the ones that are occupied, and this one is an available room. One of the most common requests you get as a front of house is meeting room bookings. Both members and non-members can make bookings with us. We will address on how you can make bookings in your own location, as well as cross-booking in another location. We'll touch on how you can cancel the meeting room, what alternative can you suggest if the requested meeting room is already booked. Aside from requesting booking in person, member can also do that through email. So at the end of the training, we will touch upon how to add can response to your Gmail for easier response to inquiries. To make meeting room booking, you need to click on the sixth icon on the blue tab, which is this one. It will take you to this page where you can see all the locations. To locate your own location, pull on this tab, select for example the Hag Muan Chai. You will be able to see all the meeting rooms in the Hag Muan Chai. For example, if your member requested for a meeting room at 12 p.m., you can see that these are all available slot. If you see there's a block here, that means that place is taken. So let's try the ninth floor. Now let's look at what each of these tabs mean. So on the member part is for you to select the company the member is with. So let's say for example, the hive, we'll put it down there and also to select the member's name, say if it's for Rachel. Another way to do it is you can actually leave this blank and fill in the member's name there because sometimes there are members who are booking the room for the another member, so this is how you can do it as well. So on this tab, you're able to see where the meeting room is located. So here you can see it's located in Wan Chai on the ninth floor. It's meeting room B and it can accommodate four people. So if the member is requesting the room for more than four people, this might not be a suitable room for the member. Here, it will ask you to select which time from when to when. So let's say the member is requesting from 12 to one, this is how you fill it in. And here there are four options. There is repeat, invite guest, tentative, and free. So what are these options and what do they mean? Repeat means the booking will be repeated automatically every week. Invite guests mean member can bring other member into the booking. Free means the booking is complimentary and we can take this option so that the member is not charged any fees or credits. Lastly, tentative means the booking is not confirmed yet, but we want to hold a space for the member or non-member so we can use this option. Last tab, you can see summary and one credit. If there are available credits, it will show the number of credits being used. If the member has no remaining credits available, there will be a value and it will be a value charged to their account. If it's filled in correctly, the next thing you'd like to do is untick the selection here because you don't want an automatic notification to everyone in the group. And the very last step is to click book now. You can see booking added successfully and you can see the time slot taken. Changes to bookings. 
if you click into a booking, you'll be able to see all the information you filled in previously. You can see who made the booking, summary of the credit, booking reference, everything you filled in here. If you'd like to make any changes, you can do it right here. So for example, if we're changing 12 to 12.30, this is how you do it. And again, untick send notification, and you will select update. You can see booking update successfully, and your time slot has changed. To pick another meeting room for the booking, simply click on the booking again, and this is where you can change the meeting room. So for example, if we know that the member is bringing more people to the meeting and we need a bigger meeting room, we'll book 15th floor, meeting room 5, that can accommodate 6 people. And again, you click update. And remember to untick the send notification again because you don't want your team to be angry because they're getting all these automatic notification. Then you click update. Then you can see booking updated successfully again and the time slot has changed to 15th floor. So now let's talk about booking meeting rooms in another location. So why is that a very useful function for us? And it's because potentially there will be days where we're so busy, all our meeting rooms are booked. And in that case, we'll have to offer alternative for our members. To see the accommodation in another location and see if you could find an available room that could meet the needs of your member. So for example, if someone is booking this exact time slot, I'll be able to see other locations. So what you can do is click here, select all locations. You can see which location has the time available for your member. So let's look at, so let's, you can see here, meeting room two, KT, is available. So we can book a meeting room there. And again, you can see the information under the booking. So you can see that for KT meeting room two, it can only accommodate four people. And before making a cross location booking, information you need to know from your members are how many people are coming to the meeting room, which location is most convenient to them other than their home location. And again, like what kind of equipment they'll need for the meeting. The community. It is the second icon on the blue tab. You click on it. This is where you can find members listing. It is where we can view our members by name and company name. It is also where we can find out what membership they're on and other information such as their email, phone numbers, one of fees, booking credits, and other details. Please note that for day pass individuals and non-members utilizing the Hive space still require a profile in Office R&D. Now, let's look at finding members. If you'd like to find members in your own location, simply select this tab again and select the location you'd like to see. So for example, this Hive Wan Chai. So these are all the active profile in Hive Wan Chai. It is easier to find members under the member column as it will show both their name and their company name. And as you can see here, we're actually under the company's column. So these are all the company's name. So if we'd like to find members, let's just click onto the members column. So these are the active members in Wan Chai. What does all members mean then? All members includes drop-in, pending, active, and former. And that's the reason why the number is so much higher than the others. Let's look at a member's profile, for example. So she is one of our member in Wan Chai. You can see here, this is her email address, her company name, her location, status, and phone number. And over here, you can see what kind of membership she's on. You can see here that she's on dedicated desk membership. Now let's look at her other information. You can check her credits by simply selecting credits here. It will take you to this little session. It will tell you how many credits she has left. And over here, you can tell that she has bought day passes with us. One of these is something we'll go over in a few minutes. In companies, there are a few ways to do it. You can simply click on here to find her company, or you can go back to community and head towards to companies. 
Now here again, make sure you're on active and you can select a company you'd like to look at here. So for example, let's go to a company called Brain Value. And you can see it popped up here. If you click onto it, you can see all the information about this company similarly to our members profile. It has a little more information as it contains a members tab and you can see how many members there are with this company. And you can see here there are two and they're active. And under memberships here, you can see which membership their members are using. And they're both using office membership for this case. And again, everything else is the same for the company. So for both company and members, after we have signed them up with us, it's important that we update the picture over here. So if you click onto this, this is where you can change the picture of the company and for the member as well is the same. And the reason why it's important for us to update pictures of a member is because our memberships cannot be shared and putting picture up on Office R&D ensure that communication is shared within all the other locations and that we can ensure the membership is not shared between different people. One-off fees. What are one-off fees? Basically, one-off fees are for services outside of the typical membership fee and that includes items such as drinks and pantry items, coffee lounge items, hive event tickets, private event space rental, extra meeting room charges, extra printing charges, mail charges, day pass charges, and other admin fees. And for example, for this company, Brain Value here, you can see that these are the one of these charges for them. Lastly, let's talk about how you can add templates to your Gmail. It's very useful because members usually approach you in person or a very common way is to email you. And it's very important that we respond in a professional and personalized manner. Templates would help, and this is how you can do it. So first, go to your Gmail account, and you could see this little icon here called a setting. If you click onto setting, there are these categories. Make sure you are on advanced, and the first thing you see is templates. And you need to make sure that you enable it. This is the next step after you enable templates. Click here to write a new email. And you have to delete the signature if you have them. The next thing is to paste the template that you selected and click on this three dots for more options. Templates, go down to the very bottom, save draft as template, save as new template. You can name it. For example, this is a book a tour email, so I would say book a tour. Click save. So the template is automatically saved. So let's try it out. If you click on this again, you can select all your templates here. Go to templates. And this is the template that we most recently saved. Let's click on it. So it will automatically be applied to your email. So what you need to keep in mind is remember to change the name, the date, and any important information that might be different case by case. And this is how you do it. That is all for today. Please be patient with yourself. It would take a bit of time for you to get familiarized with Office R&D. I hope the training helps. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, I'm just a slight message away and I will see you in our next training.